Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sabrina, and today we are continuing on with Genesis Noir. Okay, so let's quickly pop on over to our whoops, I accidentally clicked out of. Come on. So this is the correct one, but I'm going to click here first. Regrets filled the heart as a star surrounded. Huh. Expected disappointment. The end of the Big Bang, there's no going back. Quiet moment of failure. Okay. Come on. Go this way. And this one is... Voices call out in an in, in interstellar space. That's the one we're gonna take. We have like three more. Ooh. If they're as long as the last one, then it's three more episodes, which, ooh. Scientists warn the world would uh, blah, 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 blah. I can totally, I can totally read. Scientists warn the world about dangers of to humanity's existence through metaphorical doomsday clock. The later the hour on this clock tolls, the greater the threat to civilization. Efforts to create international unity do little to turn back the clock. Conceived with no hours earlier than nine, the darkness of midnight has always been looming inevitably. As the doomsday's, doomsday clock approaches the end, some of those on earth begin to look towards the heavens. Okay. I guess it's like an airplane. Breaking news. Cirrus, Vega C, Genesis, departure times. Four twenty five. Okay. S clothes and belongings left behind in a hurry. Uh, next one is seven oh five. So seven oh five. This really makes you need to know how to read a, a standard clock. A wheat paste poster poorly adhered. Last one is eleven. Come on. Come on. Nope. One down. Oh my god. Come on. <clears throat> there we go. 11.15. Last one. Departured. There we go. Got through all the departures. Hi, rocket ship.
I see. All right. Suspicious lack of communication. A massive craft with advanced propulsion that makes no noise. Due consideration. A beautiful craft, a beautifully crafted vessel. Pretty much it's just a whole bunch of different vessels. Voyage. This is voyage. Golden record beautifully made inspired further listening. Hello from the children of planet Earth. Sounds of planet Earth, side one, United States of America. Ashuli. Namaste. Telugu Matade, Janamo Lunchima, Suba Kanshla. Aslam Alekum. Ham Zamin Ke Rehne, Waluki, Trafse, Apo, Kushamdi, Ketehe. Yeah. That's Voyager, the golden disk that we sent out to space. Really? That's it for the voyage? Okay. The only problem with playing this game when it's when you're sleepy is the fact that the music is so relaxing. And I just kind of want to like listen to it. Regret fills the heart of the star it's surrounded. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to pronounce this. The Kardashev scale describes three stages of civilization's development. The type one civilization utilizes all the energy on its home planet, not yet capable of considering other worlds to draw from. This power is minuscule compared to type 2 civilizations, which looks beyond itself to bask in all the radiant heat emitted from the star that it orbits. Lastly, the god type, the, sorry, the god-like type 3 civilization can harness the entire energy output of its home galaxy by tossing matter into a supermassive black hole at the galactic core. To reach one's full potential, a bit of sacrifice is required, it seems. Hmm. We're type one. Hmm. Okay. Orbiting. Obviously. Putting it around in circles. Oh my god, really? Hmm. What else? Oh, I can look at it. Uh, a structure for collecting sunlight brings back vivid memories of the past.
Hmm. A flower. I just have to find the right place to hover my mouse. Now we just have to click this multiple times. <laughs> three more? Is there three more people in front of us? Now it's us. Hello. Madam God. Ooh, thank you. A cup of wine. And a come hither. All right. As per normal, must pop everything. Okay. I love how it, like they come out in different shapes. I find it kind of cute. Hey, kitty. I know. My cat's coming to me and like, why are you still awake? at 1.30 a.m. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're doing a black hole thing. Hey, kitty. That's my microphone. You're not supposed to headbutt my microphone. Literally, am I the reason for her tr uh, like going to be shot? Hello, kitty. Hello, my fluffy kitty. How are you, my fluffy kitty? Sorry. My cat's being cute and in my way and over my mouse. Okay. So we have a flower. This flower that no longer is needed. Time to move on. Really, cat? You're gonna headbutt my hand? Hmm? Huh? You're gonna headbutt my hand while I'm trying to play a video game? She's like, of course, you're not petting me. Why aren't you petting me? Oh, bit pets. Pet, 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 scratch, scratch, scratch. Also, she loves my nails because she can't really scratch. Her old owner declawed her. I, on the other hand, have my claws. All right. The end of the Big Bang. Sorry, my cat's just being so adorable. One possible fate of our universe is for the expansion of the Big Bang to slow to a crawl and finally reverse under the power of gravity. Numerous black holes will consume all matter and merge becoming larger and larger. As our universe was born from a single point during the Big Bang, existence may end in one unfathomably large black hole occupying a single point of space. We call this theory the Big Crunch. An interesting theory, but we are confident 
that this shall not be our destiny. We are at the sun. A golden ratio that spirals inward into smaller and smaller points. Singularity, which is what they call the center of a black hole. Is a singularity. Okay. Radio waves that carry sound of improvised jazz beats. A planetoid whose te te a planetoid whose tectonic plates once shifted but have fused together. Spaceships filled with passengers. A curious plant inhabited by beauty and danger beautiful and dangerous creatures. Okay. A constellation depicting an ancestral hunt. Which at this point I'm just going around the size. Remnants of the earlier days of the universe. I'm literally just walking around the edge to see if we can find anything. I'm not seeing anything else. It's giving me a little bit of motion sickness. Okay. Okay, what do I, oh, I understand, I think I understand. Okay. I understand. I understand what I need to do now. I 
I need to destroy all of these things. My cat's judging me. I mean, like, I mean, I've, I feel like I've gotten to the point where uh, I'm gonna be finishing this game really soon, so I'm like, I want to keep playing. But my cat's still judging me. And then Earth. Where's Earth? And that's it. That's the last bit. Got it. Oh, that's giving me a headache. Stop, Stop old friend. Yes. But I am no man. Who are you? All the people he's met along the way. Stop time. Beat, brother. Stop worrying, time traveler. Please stop, ancestral spirit. Okay. Okay. Who are you? You have a choice, no man, okay. What? Was that the wrong choice? <laughs> and why did I get kissed? So many questions. New so little answers. A black hole. Black holes are cold, lonely places. They are not, however, absolutely cold. Through. Quantum mechanic tricks, particle trapped inside the black hole can create a virtual double and escape from their prison. 
This process is known as the Hawking Radiations, predicts, predicts that even the most massive black hole will one day evaporate into nothingness. Counterintuitive as the mass of the black hole approaches zero, its temperature erupts hotter than a supernova. You wouldn't want to be nearby. Okay, so I think there's still going to be a little bit more of whatever's going on. I'm going to leave that here for this episode. In the next episode, we will see what else is going on. All right, so I'll see you then. Bye!